Hi, Ron. I'm John Furrier with Silicon Angles The Cube. We are in Palo Alto for an on the ground segment here with uh, Scott Bain. Simon. Simon Bain, I'm sorry, That's with okay. Search Your Cloud here at the HANA House. Part of SAP's HANA Cloud Platform Meetup, that big wine tasting, not a big sales pitch, kind of a chill environment. Here in the heart of Palo Alto, across from the original Apple store. So you get a presentation. You're a partner, we Search are. Your Cloud. Big time search, enterprise search is hard, now with cloud more than ever as a SaaS product, very challenging. So you need to have reliability and you have to have a partner with, with cloud, with HANA. Yes. So talk about the relationship with SAP that you guys have and just in general your partnership. Okay, the relationship we have is actually quite close. So we, we started off with SAP with a startup focus team, which is a, a small team worldwide, but they take small companies like us who can work with HANA and the idea of startup focus is actually to sell HANA. And of course, if they're selling HANA, we're selling it because they're helping us with our product. And we started with them about a year and a half, two years ago. And we moved on then. We've recently now joined up forces with the OEM team and we now embed uh, HCP into our product. And we, we work very closely, as you saw today. We come on stages with them. We go around talking for them and in turn, they put us in front of customers. So it's a good sales channel for you guys, but more importantly, it talks to the ecosystem opportunity that SAP has. A lot of people are confused about HANA. They, they think it's a fine suit that's tailor-made for certain use cases, a Ferrari for the freeway, but yet it's growing differently now. That's kind of the FUD. Talk about the relevance of SAP HANA Cloud as it fits for the opportunities for partners. I mean, bottom line, make money is good. You got to make money? Yeah, making money is the for the partner itself is important, but actually the reason we chose the HANA Cloud Platform is because it's easy to use. The whole idea of the cloud is that it should be there, it should be constant, and it should be simple. So we talked about enterprise search. Enterprise search in the past has taken months to implement. All this meta tagging and all this crap that goes, sorry, all this rubbish that goes around with that. With the cloud, you shouldn't need to do that. And that's what cloud platforms such as HCP brings to you, and brings to us specifically and our customers. We can be up and running and say within 20, 30 minutes, we can have them searching across their entire ecosystem, whether it be SharePoint, Exchange, all their document stores, their data stores. We can have them up and running within 30 minutes because we're running on a cloud platform. That's what the cloud platform from HCP. That's the number one complaint we hear on the marketplace from customers and, and channel partners and integrators and ISVs is, it's complicated in the cloud, it's DevOps, it's an integration challenge. At the same time, they need turnkey, scalable products. Yes. So they need to have reliability, and then obviously the economics in the cloud is unprecedented change, we're seeing that. Talk about that dynamic. What is SAP's uptake in partners? Can you share some anecdotal data, feedback you've heard from other partners amongst you, other than yourselves? Um, I, the answer, simple answer to that is no. We were at the Tech Ed show a couple of weeks ago down in Las Vegas. We were mix, mixing with a whole load of partners there. I think all of them were running on the HANA Cloud platform. And so that tells me everything I need to know as a company. Is this a product that we can trust? Because remember, it's our customers. They're not, H, they're not HANA customers, they're not SAP customers, they're Search Your Cloud customers that we're, we're entrusting somebody else's platform with. And so for us, we have to know it's there. And it's talking to these people, I can't give you any of the actual figures, but talking to these people, they haven't had any issues. We haven't had any issues implementing it. Our customers haven't had any issues using it. We've been using HANA now for just under two years with our own instances. We're relatively new to HCP in the last 12 months. We haven't had a single problem. It is for us, the uptime and all the rest of it of our product, that's our problem. That's not the cloud platform. We need to know the cloud platform's up and running. Yeah. That is, you know, that's, that's where the HCP comes in. We haven't had a problem yet. We know AWS has had problems, we know HANA's had problems, HCP's had problems, we know Azure's had problems and Google's had problems. It's the internet, you can call it where you like, it's the internet. If you've got downtime, if there's a pipe broken somewhere, it's going to go down. But what you've got to do as a, as a supplier, as a partner, is evaluate for yourself what's best for your customers. And for our customers, ease of use, ease of implementation. For us, cost, ease of implementation. And overall, it's will it stay up? Enterprise Search gives you a lot of visibility yes. because you're hitting all the stovepipes and the horizontally scalable open source piece of the business. So I got to ask you, you know, given that visibility and some of the range that you guys have seen inside the enterprise, what's the one thing that's the biggest, or one or two things that are the misconceptions around HANA? I mean, there's been a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt around HANA, certainly from Oracle and other vendors. SAP's got a lot of power, got a fast in-memory, great pass 
infrastructures of services out there. What's the one thing that people should know about that they might get fogged up in all that FUD? The reason we came onto HANA is because it's a blindingly fast database. And that's the first thing to keep in mind. HANA is probably the fastest database there is. An example of that is our own search. So we can put 2.6 terabytes of data inside HANA, email data, and we can search it in two times a nanosecond. 2.6 terabytes of data. We could only do that with HANA. So if you're going to take anything away from HANA itself, is that it, forget the whole platform stuff. HANA is a blindingly quick database. How about the ecosystem out there? They, they make good money for you, the partners out there? What's the, what's the vibe in the, in the channel? The vibe in the channel is really good. Yep, they put us in front of customers, they help us with their customers. They also, the stuff we take them, the, the leads we take them from TechEd, they'll help us with those, they'll put us into the right places, they'll help us with the direct sales. Yeah. So yeah, the, the, the partner channel is very, very good from, from our perspective. And we're only a small customer, remember, we're a small company. All right, final question. What's the coolest thing you're working on right now? Coolest thing we're working on right now is the ability for people inside Office 365 to actually have all their stuff encrypted and have it controlled by HCP in the back end. All right, so blind to the user. Yeah, yeah integration, encryption, integration. cutting edge, DevOps is hitting every vertical. This is the queue. Of course, we're DevOps of content. We'll go wherever it takes. We'll vertically integrate. We're in on the ground here in Palo Alto on University Avenue at the Hana House, the former Borders Cafe, the former theater, right across the street from the original Apple Store here in the historic Palo Alto. I'm John Furrier on the ground. Thanks for watching.